John Dooley gave the financial report on the airport balances. Motion to accept Elsner's concrete quote made by John Dooley and seconded by Morris Reese. Motion carried. Bill Ernstis brought a quote from Elsner to enclose the rafters on the east and west ends of Hangar A. Motion to accept Elsner's quote of $3,522 by Don Whipple and seconded by Jim Pruitt. Motion carried. New business. Bill Ernstis discussed the possibility of buying a 20-foot rotary cutter to pull behind the tractor. Currently, the airport has been paying someone to mow, or Bill has been bringing in his own equipment. Bill has three quotes on a new rotary cutter and one used quote. The subject is to be discussed after further review. The bill package is presented for approval. A motion by Don Whipple and seconded by John Dooley to pay the rent and bond bill, but hold the retainage work and retainage until all work is complete. Eyes, Jim Pruitt, Don Whipple, John Dooling, sorry, I'm not that correction there, and Bill Ernstis. Abstain, Oris Reese. Motion carried. Motion by John Dooley to approve the remainder of the bill packet and seconded by Jim Pruitt. Eyes, Oris Reese, John Dooley, Jim Pruitt, and Bill Ernstis. Abstain, Don Whipple. Motion carried. John Elsner submitted a quote to the board to replace the remaining six old style doors for $12,000. The board will discuss this at a later time. Don Manley reported that the SRE quick pitch change order has been approved, but not the spare parts package. He reported that he is still working on the, with the FAA on the payment request. Jim Pruitt requested an update <coughs> the environmental study. Don Manley stated that he is currently responding to comments from the FAA. Meeting was adjourned at 7.40 p.m. Changes? Well, other than the other than the two made uh, uh, about John's yes. motion and then uh, changing John, 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 John. Uh, I will move to accept the minutes as amended. Second. Second. Uh, roll call, please. John Dooley. Yes. Bill Arnstess. Yes. Jim Pruitt. Yes. Horace Reese. Yes. Don Whipple. Yes. Uh, financial report. The uh, financial report for the Greensburg Municipal Airport. We have the three accounts. First account is County 15, the airport improvement account. Uh, the balance at this time is $93,312.28. In the aviation rotary fuel account, $90,406.26. In the airport operations fund, $182,000. $175.15. The total of the three counts combined, $365,893.69. Uh, hang repair. Well, the only thing that we have really left is what Rodball has to do. And I talked to uh, Tim Weaver, Rama, Ronabon, and he thought the last door that he has to put up should be on May 1st. As soon as it gets here, he's ready to crew down to get it put in. And the other on the other doors, we'll hold off on that as far as I'm concerned, uh, as far as replacing the other doors. Hey, uh, Bill, uh, is there still some work to be done on roofs and that? I believe all the roofs are done. Well, then they're not done because Norm Schlimmer keeps calling, or not calling, doesn't keep calling me. Uh, he's mentioned that he's there are leaks in his hangar, okay. and I mean they're pretty good size. I've, I've actually been in the hangar, and it looks like it's just no, it just didn't get done or something. Yeah, I'll talk to Jerry and see what the story is. Yeah. Okay. Was it something that was scheduled to be done, or? Well, I don't know. Something well, I don't know. It's, it's, it, it looks like it's from wind damage <laughs> because there's a. Uh, I guess you'd call it. Vent or whatever type thing down the center of the hangar there, and yeah. there's water coming in there, and there are there are a few small holes, but I don't think those are the problem so much as that center. Okay. I'll, I'll talk to Jerry Martinez. Yeah, that, we need to get that done. Okay. Yes. Uh, we made a little ch little changes on the bill. We brought all of them in case anybody's got any questions about them. Uh, bills to be paid or if, in fact, it was, yeah. was John Hangel up here. Yes. Just a question to John Elsner. Has he finished his concrete work? 
I believe he has. He, I've been out some of the place down those good, but yeah. I don't think. They, they were hauling the last of the extra dirt out the other day. Okay. Um, is, is the snow removal, is that going to include uh, removing the snow off, I presume off the apron and off the, mm -hmm. and up to, up to the hangar, yes. hangar yeah. doors? Mm -hmm. Uh, Devin brought in this sheet. It's got all the bills updated. If you have any questions on any of them, I'll explain the, uh, the professional fabrication and Tops hardware. Those two are relatively small. And what they are, uh, some materials Jerry bought uh, to put on some of the equipment that goes with the snow removal. So you can put it on dollies and just roll it around back into places like that. Keep it out of the road. Uh, Aviation Association of Indiana, Mr. Manley, I tried to rejoin it, and you don't take individual memberships anymore, am I correct? I guess we do. Well, because I never did get billed, we got this bill for the Greenberg Airport instead. Yeah. And I, I really think we need well, to be a member of it, or at least somebody from Greenberg be a member, because I, I was more than willing to. What's it? What's it? Okay, what happened? What happens is that they submit the bill to the organization because the organization, if they decline, then we get into the bill from there. Okay. Um, it's $275. Are others getting emails from them? Uh, or are you forwarding my I mean, I am. Are, are you? you? Yeah. I'm getting. Well, I get them too. So. Today, so. Yeah, you, Everybody's listed usually. Oh, look from the board? Yeah. Whether you're a member or not, we, uh, we usually send information to you. So, I mean, I, I mean, this is relatively new that I've been getting it. I'm yeah, it's a couple of months. Yeah. And yeah that's that's, what we're starting to do a better job. <laughs> Good. We're getting the emails out. It used to be uh, newsletters, and now it's just called email blasts. Well, the, uh, the first uh, item there, City of uh, Greensburg, January through March clearing, what is what's that? Uh, That's a good question. I was going to ask Devin that. Um, that is the, uh, we call it a clearing account. Um, anytime the managers are paid uh, for their, either their monthly stipend or the extra hours that Jerry or Tom would work, um, as well as if we've had to move money back and forth between the accounts to pay sales tax or something like that. That's what that is. So is that just money moved between the accounts? Is that what you're saying? It's, it's moved from, uh, in this case, it was moved from the manager salary to um, the general account because we pay them out of our general, uh, on our general checks. So the sales tax is included in that for the last three months? Uh, that, that was through January through March, right? Yes, January through March. Okay. Um, the only difference is that the city, the March sales tax was at the bottom. I didn't have that one figured. The January through March um, would include the January, February sales tax and then the January, February, March um, payroll okay. for the two gentlemen. And typically you'll see that on a monthly basis. But okay. You say we will see it on a monthly basis? You should basis see it on a monthly basis, yes. That's good. The only real new one to the whole th thing is the Aviation Association. The bottom two are insurances, and Devin, can you tell me what the two insurances are? Um, <coughs> about 3.30 today, we received a update bill on the, um, the general liability package, I believe it was, and it went down from uh, $6,600 to $6,270. So I just noted the difference, um, and there's a new total down there for approval. And then the twenty-eight hundred dollars that covers. Let's see. Is that professional liability? I think so. One of them I want to say is a general package, and the other one is professional liability. This is renewal POI 
I, and it has a policy number on it, professional liability. And the other one, the one that we changed the amount on, is the general liability. And the two BFNS items, those are, are the, those are both reimbursable items. I believe they are one of them is a, um, one of them is um, grant administration. Is that the lesser? Um, I think it's the one that you want. The one for $191.25 <coughs> says for engineering services performed in connection with the airport management assistant agreement dated January 26, 2009. And those are charges for the month of March. Be six hundred and four dollars and forty cents. Um, procurement of the snow removal agreement, the engineering services for that, and that's for the month of March as well. Okay. Any further questions? Just, just, just a question, generally. You know, we see them. It's routine to have, you know. Those items like the FNS, you know, month after month. I think last last meeting we had four. Is there a good way we keep accounting of those to make sure we do get the proper reimbursement for those? I don't know how, you keeping wise how that's done. I mean, I, I just, well, what I thought we were doing is sending everything to BSNF mm -hmm. so they would mark it reimbursable, or not, including the bills from Trivet and whatever. Uh, Don, you may be a better one to answer that than myself. Am I correct, Don? Oh, I was typing in my message for membership. Okay, well, all the bills, including yours, you keep track of whether they're reimbursable. And yes. we also send you Mr. Trivet's bills. Yes. And you take out anything that's reimbursable on this. We do. And put it in for reimbursement. Yes. Okay. And I, I think this would be a good way each month to send this out, and then we'll bring the bills in. If we have any questions, we can discuss each individual mm -hmm. bill. And, any time, and that's one reason that we go ahead and cut the checks because if it's something that's reimbursable, we go ahead and make a copy of the claim and a copy of the check, and it goes with um, into the airport file. Okay. <coughs> so they're sitting in the office. But, um, if you approve them, then they'll be mailed out tomorrow. Okay. That's why there's a check number next to everything. All right. Any further questions? Well, I just want to say I think it's a better way to do it to bring yes. kind of the best of both worlds. You got this one list. Now you brought all the bills so we can ask, answer questions about them. I know Don, you had concerns about them. Legitimate, I think, last month about This is much better with, yeah. with her having the bills yeah. to explain. I, I think so. This is much better. Before, we brought all the bills anyway, but then when Rich came in, I like the idea that it's all in one thing set aside and each individual one. Yeah. This will work out. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll move. Um, I would move to accept the bills and pay the bills. We have a second. Just, okay. Uh, roll call, please, Jan. Uh, Devin? <laughs> I'll never get this straight. Yeah, just go ahead. I'm not reaching. This is the same play back in. Oh, let's see. John? Yes, approved. Jim? Yes. Horace? Yes. Don? Yes. Bill? Yes. Okay. Do you have any comments from the board of the public? <coughs> Mr. Manley, do you have anything you'd like to address this at? Well, I, I don't. I haven't received any new news from the FAA. I wish I had comments and something to follow up with. But nothing yet. Okay. And I, if someone would like to make a motion to adjourn. I'll do that. Go second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Meeting adjourned. Well, that should be close to the world record. Oh, we yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is more and you guys are I'm passing it around right now. Okay. You bring the hey. units next month. Yes. Uh, Monica will drive. I want to know her. She can't even get the units out here. She walked and said, Henry, you're looking good. He said, Whenever you're laid out, everybody says you're not good. I like it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the reason. You know, more guys, that's the reason. Yeah. Um, yeah. I told.
Jim while we were sitting here, but Horace and Don, um, what I'm going to do is put the minutes in draft form, and then I'll read those if there's any uh, amendments, then I'll change those and read them back so that way we're not handwriting on the official. So, so I will have these minutes for the next month of the meeting.